Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the grocery store real quick and um, see what we can find. Prince, you want to go outside? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hello there. Um, we're about to go to the store right now. Um, we're missing a few things, so um, we need to uh, go and get a few things. I know we need toilet paper. I want to see if they have any bottled water yet and um, a few drinks and stuff for the kids. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, hello lovely people. Um, I needed a few things so I went to Walmart this morning and you know searching for groceries. It was kind of crazy um, but thank goodness it was really early so I got there as soon as they opened at 8 a.m. So um, it wasn't very hectic but still a lot of shelves were bare. They still didn't have any water. And the only toilet paper that they did have was a small little section of just the Walmart brand. And thank goodness because we were down to like our last pack. So I did have to get quite a few. I got seven of them. Um, so I'm not tripping that should last a while. Um, but like I said, they didn't have any other toilet paper. This was the only brand they had. Uh, they had no water. And as soon as we got in there, um, I was starting to film. And they kind of shut me down right away. They didn't want me taking pictures of, of anything that, you know, they, they had stocked up. And as far as, I mean, they had lots of produce produce looked really really good and they did finally have ground beef I've it's been about two weeks since I've been able to find a pack of ground beef so I did get two rolls of the ground beef because I had none I was all out now um, and I did get a few more essentials um, I got the kids mini raviolis for lunch and uh, Raymond noodles they finally had some of these in but they it's only the six pack it's not the the small square pack so this probably won't last long simply because it's just two six packs but that's all they had so it's gonna have to do um, they had quite a bit of milk. They don't have a shortage on milk at all. So I did get two gallons to put in the freezer. Um, I had to get the kids drinks and things since they're home more. Like I said, they didn't have any bottled water. So I resorted to uh, Kool-Aid for the kids. Uh, apple juice. I got a ton of the drink mixes which you know I if you watched any of my other hauls you know I love these drink mixes they're no sugar and um, we'll have to resort to tap water for a while um, <clears throat> I did get some soda um, I got Dr. Pepper and I also got Diet Pepsi as well um, I had to get cereal so I really don't mind the off-brand tastes just the same as the regular um, so I did try to go the Jeep cheap route and I apologize for my voice I know I'm still kind of scratchy so please forgive me and forgive the mess in the background my son has been sleeping on that couch and he's left his blanket and so forth um, but yeah I got frosted flakes the fruit spins and berry crunch 
and here's another diet Pepsi that I got <clears throat> I did get some boxed mac and cheese um, simply because we're cooking a lot more and everybody's at home so yeah we need to get the things that they like to eat I did get some more pasta I got the small shells and I needed salt and seasoning salt I did get a few packs of butter and uh, two packs of the tater tots now I got romaine lettuce in the refrigerator so I did get some tomatoes for salads um, pan over here and I got Velveeta to make um, mac and cheese and what have you when these little boxes run out um, I got the kids some Hawaiian punch and I did get a um, large pizza for a dinner um, so that you know we could have an easy night um, I got the Martin's brand I'll show you forgive the mess I need to clean um, I got the Walmart extra large market side pepperoni pizza my kids really like that and I didn't have to buy bread thank goodness because um, my son actually brings some home he delivers um, well his job delivers bread and snack cakes and all that good stuff to grocery stores so he, needless to say he is the only one in the house that has not been furloughed yet and he works at a distributor like I said that distributes bread and snack cakes and things of that nature so as you can probably understand people that work for grocery stores or who distribute to grocery stores their jobs are pretty safe right now as far as everyone else yeah it doesn't look like it's happening but yes and I also had to get some canola oil and this must have been a freebie because I didn't buy this but it was in my bag so not sure where this came from but yeah it's a nice little treat I guess <clears throat> but yeah uh, all together we spent a hundred and twenty five dollars which was a lot better than I thought it would be so I'm not complaining we got a lot of stuff for um, the 125 and this ground beef as you can see I got two rolls there's another one hiding down there so I got 10 pounds of hamburger um, and it's been pretty hectic with everybody being at home and kind of in a confined space it's been really really brand new um, not like your typical summers or vacations or anything like that when the kids are home um, it's totally brand new totally brand new um, so in the comments below let me know how you're dealing with things um, are you about to pull your hair out some days I feel like yeah I need to kind of get my own space and take a little five minute break because I feel like we're kind of cooped up and um, like there's nowhere to go 
So yeah, in the comments below, tell me how you're dealing with this. Tell me how, um, if there's things in your area that are a little different than mine. I'm in Indi Indiana, if you can understand how I'm speaking, I apologize. Um, so yeah, we haven't been hit really, really hard, but it seems like yeah, everybody's doing the social distancing, which is really good, but the grocery stores are just crazy. And I was watching on the news the other day how uh, the CEO of Walmart was saying that th this impact on Walmart is actually like a Black Friday every day. Can you imagine? It's crazy. And this is day 16 for us. Um, let me know in the comments what day of social distancing you are on. But yeah, this is day 16 of the stay at home order from my state. So or my area whatever you want to say so yeah let me know how this is impacting you and your family and uh, as always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and um, let me know how you're feeling right now this is getting really really real I'll see y'all soon and have a wonderful day.